Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to exercise our back. Try to hit our up, mid and lower back, all of them as much as possible to get as wide of a back as possible. We are going to start with the usual, the greatest stretch, five repetitions on each side to ensure we are properly mobile. We unlock any stiff spots to make sure our joints are properly warmed up. You may add a 5 minute cardio session to your workout also if time permits. Usually I try to get as much work done in my strength training itself. So cardio usually takes a back seat but otherwise you may add a 5 minute cardio drill for yourself to get your heartbeat high. Once done with my greatest stretch I move on to my deep squat. We have to have to sit in a deep squat every day for couple of minutes at least you may start with a pre-workout sit down wherein you sit there for a few minutes feel the stretch feel your hip muscles stretch a little bit and then from there we're going to start off with our first exercise which is a single arm dumbbell row so here I'm doing it without any support we're going to do 20 repetitions each hand while switching from one arm to the other we are not going to take a break we are only going to take a break once we are done with both our arms now the challenge here would be we want to take as heavy weight as possible swing it as far ahead as possible and then pull it back from there the dumbbell should ideally come close to your hips and from there move forward again so you're basically pulling with your elbows high up now you don't want maximum bicep activation or keep it as minimum as possible so you lead with your elbows uh, Getting to the part of challenge while switching from one arm to the other, you might get tired really quickly because while this exercise is demanding on your strength, it also starts demanding your cardiovascular health. So make sure you're properly warmed up. If, if you prefer to do a couple of warm up sets before you jump into the working set, and once in your working set, if you tend to fail near 10 repetition mark switch your arm do 10 repetitions and switch back to the first arm complete your 10 repetition so in that way you can do it in a 10 10 interval also just make sure you'd get 20 repetitions in one set itself a pretty easy exercise to do just have to row now if for any reason you're unable to do that row in a standing position without any support you may also do a supported chest supported inclined bench row like I am doing here. The range of motion would be similar wherein your elbow should lead the way you pull the dumbbells towards your hips and you just keep your elbows close. Don't flare them out because you want your lats doing the majority of the work. And this is only for me to show you how it is done. For our next exercise, we are going to move into seated shrugs. Here I have done a drop set three times. Now I have performed two drops. So in a drop set, we start with a heavy weight. Then once we are tired, we drop them, switch to a lower weight and get as many repetitions as possible. Once tired there, drop again. So this that's the second drop. So that's one entire set. I started off with 20 repetitions as a target with the heavy weight. And once I'm done with 20 repetitions, I drop the weight and move to my next weight. Try to reach 20 repetitions, fail in the process and then drop the weight and switch to a lower weight. I'm using straps here to make my life a little bit easier, not very dependent upon my grip strength so that my grip strength doesn't compromise the number of repetitions I can achieve because when you're shrugging with a heavy dumbbell, you're holding on to it really tight and before your upper back muscles or your trap muscles start getting tired your grip might start getting tired so using straps and gloves can be quite helpful while performing such drop sets now you have to do three of them so the rest in between should be ample take 60 to 90 seconds break and you might not be able to achieve those first 20 repetitions in your second or third set and that's absolutely fine but keep your target at 20 repetitions for the first weight 
post this exercise i moved on to a single arm row again but this time with cable we have done this earlier too i like to do it with a good amount of spine uh, spinal flexion and extension while keeping my elbow bent so my bicep is not involved much so as you can see as i come back up i get some rotation going on while leading with my elbow i push my elbow as far behind as possible i never come straight in my arm i keep my elbow bent always there i just bend down as forward as possible almost my forehead touching my knee so same methodology we are going to follow we are going to do three sets of these in each set each arm i'm going to do 20 repetitions now you might think okay what is the difference between a regular cable pull doing with both your arms than uh, versus the single arm pull with single arm pull you can put a lot more rotation into your body lets you give the extra bit of contraction to your lats and also you can allow yourself to stretch a lot more further with a single arm so it, a mix of both of them is quite good now here i don't have a seated row machine so this is a kind of setup i have built for myself using step up box which i have done last time also so if you do have a seated row machine please do use that it will be more easier to perform this particular exercise after completing that i moved on to back extensions now the particular equipment i have in my gym i don't really like it so i preferred to do it this way i just set myself up on an incline bench the incline of the bench is just two increments i set myself on the edge with my hips hanging below and slowly started raising my legs high up just straight just getting my body in a straight line three sets of these 15 repetitions you may want to add weight if you're strong if you feel confident you can add a dumbbell in between your legs and that should add on to the tension i just did with the body weight because that was challenging itself so pretty easy exercise hug yourself to an incline bench and start raising your legs in reverse for our last exercise i'm going to do rack pull-ups three sets as many repetitions as possible so pretty easy exercise you want to sit down on the ground raise your arms up set the rack at that level wherein your arms are just about to reach them so put your put a bench in front of you so you can take a support of the bench or with your legs as i'm doing here you can do this on a rack or even on a smith machine like i am doing do as many repetitions as possible in one set the position of your legs is as for your comfort like here you can see i placed my feet up on the bench was not comfortable so i switched them back just against the bench and start getting my reps out now you might get tired very quickly in between this exercise thanks to all those exercises we have been doing till now so take your time 45 to 60 seconds of break and get as many repetitions as possible and that's it for today we are going to finish off with a vertical hang to stretch out our back and at the same time exercise our forearms a little bit thank you so much for joining me if you did like the workout please do drop a like and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do i'll keep pushing more workout content and you can keep working out along with me and get as good gains as i do if you do have any feedback please do drop a comment and i'll definitely respond to it thank you again for watching the video i hope you enjoyed the workout i'll see you in the next video